Ni hao! Worship Min Ray! Meet two of the country's top post Kiwi Chinese actors, Li Ming Hu and Andy Wong. Li Ming is well known for her previous role as Dr. Li Mei Chen on the long running TV series Shotland Street. Andy, who also happens to be a doctor, has appeared on the TV series Riding with the Devil and the films Number Two and The Tattooist. The two are rehearsing for the play Lantern, a New Zealand Chinese story centered around the Chen family celebration of the Chinese New Year. But the celebration also reveals conflicts and issues, and with this family, there's a lot of them. The two actors play nine characters, and this has been a challenge. The quick changes between character are a real challenge, and lots of the scenes are really short as well, and so I think yeah, getting the play flowing, yeah, getting the flow from become, moving from one character to another and making it work and not be really jerky um, is a huge challenge. I get these crazy dreams out of Gaza. It's nearly a year now. One minute you're one character and the other is you're changed into another character. And in some of the scenes you're actually having a conversation with yourself. So it's, it's definitely a very, very different experience and um, something that I haven't done before. The actor's personal experience of immigrant life in New Zealand has helped them play their parts. No, that was fascinating. Now, um, you know, you... I have been subject to racism growing, you know, growing up and even now, and so that's kind of, there's a bit of that in the play. It's hard because I don't want to feed into cliches, you know, about you know, having the strict Asian parents who don't understand their children and don't allow their children to date people from other nationalities. But um, I guess like all stereotypes, there's some truth in, in them. People putting you in cubby holes and expecting that you should be one thing and when you're not, they still think that you're in that cubby hole. And that's sometimes very frustrating. And that's why it's, it's interesting to tell the story and for the viewer to see, you know, the two sides of the story. The play was written by Rene Liang. She has a dual background as a doctor and writer and is well known in the Auckland arts community as a poet and a writer of short plays. This is her first full-length play. I feel that the play deals with very universal ideas about being a family. The family may be Kiwi Chinese, but they're also a typical family with your typical issues around just getting on with each other, understanding each other's feelings. So uh, it's a very warm play, I think, I hope. It's um, a comedy, but it, there's also some real moments of drama and tension. For Rene, working with Li Ming and Andy has been a rewarding experience. It's all in Chinese. We all brought our experiences to the table. Each of us had grown up in New Zealand, but all of us had come from slightly different backgrounds. So it's fair to say that Andy and Leming influenced the draft very much purely by their phys physical presence and their characteriz characterization of, of the characters I was writing. It's quite a different experience to, you know, just um, creating someone else's vision you actually have a part of creating the whole project, which is really cool. Um, the play is directed by Tony Foster, whose experience as a director goes back to the late 1970s at theatres in Auckland and Wellington. He was mentor for the production of Asian Tales, which showed in Auckland recently. Lantern's a real contrast to Asian Tales. Um, Asian Tales, um, short plays, a large number of actors involved, um, lots of excitement, um, meeting some amazing people. Um, but Lantern, in contrast, is it's only two actors, um, one producer, one set designer, myself, that's it. Um, really intense and concentrated in that way, um, which I love. No, of course not. Henry Chen. Yeah, I'll just sign up. I'd really like the audience to enjoy this experience, no matter what culture they come from. I'd like them to feel that they've been to see a play about a New Zealand family. And the play, in the end, to me, is just one more story in many New Zealand stories that need to be told. I love you too, Mum. In my dream, there was Lenton opens at the best theatre in Wellington on April the 21st until May the 2nd 
and in Auckland at the Basement Theatre from June the 8th to the 13th. See you later. Oh, bye. And, uh, ni hao.